So with the banded bully stretch, there's a couple different places you can put this strap that you might see on YouTube, but my favorite one to do is right around the wrist. Uh, what I'm doing is more of a stretch. I'm gonna do a contract relax versus a mobilization of the shoulder. Now if you find whenever you do this stretch, you, you just can't get that shoulder back and it keeps falling forward like this into that protraction, then you wanna slide that band up at the shoulder position and let, you, let it pull you back like that as you're actively sliding the hand up into that internal rotation. But if you're able to keep that shoulder back actively, you're gonna get more of a stretch if you put that band down at your wrist. So what I'm going for with the banded bully stretch is I'm trying to improve my shoulder internal rotation. That's really important for any type of pulling action that we're doing. So if you find yourself struggling to pull up and keep your arms in internal rotation and you find your arms rotating back like that, this is a really good one to work on. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slide my hands into the band and I'm gonna make sure the whole time I'm keeping my shoulder back. So once again, if I lose the shoulder forward, I'm not getting as good of a, of a stretch that I'm going for. I'm gonna keep that band at my wrist, keeping my shoulder back. I'm just gonna step forward until I get a little bit of a stretch on my shoulder. I should feel that along the front side, kind of down into my bicep area. And then I'll, when I'm stuck in this position, I wanna do some contract relax. So I feel that stretch, I'm gonna contract by trying to take my, or my, my knuckles towards my back. So a little bit of a contract, and then relax into a further stretch. Contract and relax. Contract and relax. Now with this one, you wanna be pretty gentle with the contraction. You don't wanna to try to break the band. It just puts your shoulder in a little bit of a unstable position whenever it's back behind you. You can irritate the labrum or the bicep if you're not careful. So it's just a very, very gentle, maybe 10% of my maximum contraction, just a nice activation of those muscles and then relaxing it further back into that internal rotation. So in order to test and see whether or not that one's making some progress, what I'm gonna do is see how well my active internal rotation behind my back is. So if I started off with my right arm and it was stuck right here and I go and do this mobilization and I'm able to slide it up about mid thoracic, I know that I'm making improvements. Or if I go and I grab a bar and I notice that, see how my, I did my left arm, I haven't done my right arm yet, my left arm is able to maintain that internal rotation position just a little bit better versus my right arm where my whole shoulder blade and shoulder wants to pop forward, left arm looks pretty good. So that's a couple ways to kind of retest and make sure that the banded bully stretch is doing what it's supposed to.